bounds, there's disdain in it. But her is a genius. And uh, in every fashion show, he has something different. As he, it's, a, it's a showman, it's not just a wonderful designer, you know. It's uh, everything, everything. I think his fashion show is one of the most exciting during this week. When you stroll down the Rue de la Paix On a beautiful morning in May It is heaven on earth, you'll agree just to meet Mademoiselle de Paris. She's got a style, famous in town. I love the fabrics, I love the workmanship, I love the imagination, I love the creativity, I love the, I love everything about it. I love the fact that he's still working after, you know, that he's, that every year he, he tops himself. It's really exciting. Beautiful. J'aime tout, j'aime son, sa créativité, son insolence, Son excentricité aussi, c'est peut-être ce qui me fascine le plus. Euh, Quelqu'un de formidable. His career started with a bang and is going on with a bang. And it, I admire that because he constantly regenerates himself and, uh, and he always is the leader. He ends up being the guy you look at because he's always a little bit ahead of everybody. I went to Cannes, you know, where I was asked as a jury of the festival, and they saw also some of the movie out of the selection. It was one from Un Certain Regard, which was called Portrait d'un Enfant du Siècle, d'après Alfred de Musset. And I, it was Pete Doherty, which was the hero, the incredible hero, like a big dandy, like decadent and absolutely elegant he seemed and uh, beautiful. And also I saw, but he looks like the twin of Erin O'Connor. Erin O'Connor. Thank you. He was so inspired in that moment that he decided that, that was going to be the whole look for the couture show because I think he found really interesting the dynamic between the rebel and somebody that's very vulnerable so in a way which I think Pete Doherty is uh, so he tried to channel that through the whole romantic period so I think we, we went through quite a few years from the beginning to the end of that show which I thought was very interesting. I started the collection like that, with, you know, that kind of dandy look, kind of men, masculinity on women and femininity, of course, with men, because there was also, like men in the couture, in my couture, with new curve, because there's a waist and the basque rounded, like that, which was like a, a new jacket. <laughs> I loved the show, it was really strong. I loved all the black and like the kind of costumey outfits. This is my favorite kind of show actually. It's a bit theatrical but still very fashion-y. I tried to make like corset first for men, which I did some years ago, but that time it was like gilet, West Coast corset, you know. Corset over the frack for men. And for women, it was like corset, like which was like a kind of 3D. It was like three-dimensional with like uh, effect of, uh, like I did a little like for Madonna, for her last tour, that, that tour which is now, you know. I did like one like that, you know, but that time I make it with embroidery. And I did another one which was like a metallic, completely like gold, like a, a little Metropolis type, you know. Maybe 
I quite like the one like which is like Alpha Rodangot and like a gym suit under it, which is on the part where there is a, not the half, you can see transparency uh, uh, put on André. I think it's like a kind of femininity, moitié, moitié, which, uh, bon, maybe a little very explicit, but I quite love it. was better than I expect, better than anything I expect. shoes and heels I'm like any minute now I've got to get up otherwise I'm not gonna make it <laughs> it's all about your equilibrium because we've been wearing corsets the shoe wedge platform shoes a shiny floor so you can't see where you're going so I counted 37 steps and then I know to stop why is she just gonna go like that and it never stops being utterly nerve-wracking beforehand <laughs> and it's so slick, it's like a drawing, it's like an illustration, a, a whip, the cut, the proportion. Again, we're getting back to the body, to the essence of the women. Just perfect. It was all long and sharp and like strong and a lot of black and gold. It was rich. I mean, it was beautiful. We all loved it. suit and the cape um, and then Constance the one she was wearing before me was also beautiful but mine was stunning and had this tiny waist and then sort of this just really elaborately embroidered uh, bodysuit motif of art deco, I love that, you know, the graphism and uh, even constructivism, I, I find it's beautiful and I say in fabric, but maybe in fabric very feminine and why not like in velvet but dévoré, which shows transparency and to play on the color and on, on the transparency. It's a real statement, on my opinion, about the supremacy of the body and the silhouette and the anatomy. That dress has to be made on a woman's body and it should be a celebration of the woman's silhouette. It was uh, it was murder on the runway. 
he killed it once again. <laughs> What I loved is that on a transparency um, dress we did saw the vagina and I think this is very chic in a way to assume that a woman is sexual but then she's so graphic. Each time I go on a catwalk it's just all this emotion and, and just make me extremely happy because all the time I'm wearing this corset and then it's just something really special to me. I wanted her to be the bride of the collection. She wears the frack as a dress, you know, and she has that big petticoat. I think she was just right because she is like a kind of also a beauty. She's feminine and at the same time, she has a little side androgynous, you know. So I like a boyish baby face and feminine, extremely feminine at the same time. I was honored to be with the dress, white dress, for, it's the, like the dream for all women and I take it, I'm like actress, like dream. I think it's one of the most beautiful Jean-Paul Gaultier show. It's always beautiful, but it's another level. It's one of the most beautiful he have done from a long time. It's another degree. It's like a transition, but it's the essential of Gaultier. Loved it. It was amazing. It was a long time I didn't feel you know that in a show. It was really, really amazing. But you know, he's the best for the couture, I think. We love Jean-Paul.